And here are five reasons why you should watch 2023's Maydroid. Coming up, Unsaid Talks Horror. Now, Maid Droid is a 2023 movie that tells the story of a rich guy named Harrison. Now, Harrison is trying to get over his ex who dumped him and ridiculed him prior to doing so. So his personal life has been really trashy. So I went to a friend about his love life. His friend slash co-worker insists that he hire a maid service. Now, at first, Harrison rejects it because he thinks it's some sort of escort service, but his friend assured him that this service could change his life. Now, while at home feeling rotten about himself, he gives this maid service a shot, and he finds out that these actually aren't human maids. They're android maids whose entire goal is to please the company's client in any manner. So Harrison thinks this over for a bit, and then he sees no downside to hiring a service that does the cooking, cleaning, and fulfilling sexual favors as well. So the next day, the company delivers their Android unit to Harrison's home, and immediately, Harrison is blown away, because this Android is very lifelike and a woman in every way possible. The Android introduces herself to him, but she has no name. So Harrison names her Mako. Now, as weeks pass by, Harrison and Mako begin to bond, because what starts off as a few nights of sexual pleasure turns into what appears to be two people falling in love. But things aren't quite what they seem, because this bud and love story is about to get much darker, and here are five reasons you should watch it. Reason number one, this movie is deceptively good. Now, a few minutes into this movie, it seems like some low-quality, bad-acting gimmick movie that's designed to sell sex and nudity. And now, yes, you do have maybe two small sex scenes and a good amount of nudity, but this movie is well-crafted. The idea that drives this movie forward is that Mako is accurately designed to be a woman in every aspect. Now, Mako is not just an android with feminine parts and mimicry. No, Mako has both the emotions of a real woman as well. And that is something that this movie truly doesn't prepare you for until it hits you while you're watching it. Because Mako can fall in love. Mako can become jealous. Mako can be vindictive. Mako is territorial. And Mako is 100% woman in every imaginable way. Because what Harrison doesn't know is that Mako suffers from PTSD and past traumas from her other owners. And before Harrison, Mako was used just as a sex object and often physically abused and humiliated in ways that she really wasn't comfortable with. And even though Harrison seems like the perfect gentleman, certain phrases and things that he does bring back bad memories to Mako. And whenever she feels hurt, she gets extremely violent. Reason number two. There's a unique storytelling device using technology. Yes, this movie tells a love story shrouded in horror and trauma. The idea that Mako has feelings like a real woman, she also desires the things and intimacy that a woman wants. You know, the attention of her man, wanting to be first in his life, more importantly, wanting to be the only woman in his life. And even though there are signs that Mako will eventually snap, Things are going pretty well because even when she feels hurt by Harrison, she bottles up her feelings and moves forward trying to make the best of the situation because she's quick to forgive Harrison because after all, he's her dream guy. And he even tells her that he's fallen in love with her. I mean, to her, he's nothing like her previous owners. He pays attention to her. He's attentive to her needs and her feelings. He even promised to take her out on a date. That's something she never experienced because she was always just a sex toy to all her previous owners. And one was so bad to her that he would beat and cut on her. Like the guy was a real piece of work. So Harrison was the complete opposite. And at this point, as a viewer, you're pulling for Harrison and Mako to sort of make it. But there are just things and there are seeds to let us know that Mako is close to her breaking point. And I think the filmmakers do an excellent job of never letting us forget that Mako is just an android. No matter what happens, she always resort to being an android at the end of the day. So just a well-crafted and accurately programmed android. But just when things are going well, Harrison, dude, what were you thinking? In 2023's Maid Droid, Harrison, a rich guy who was dumped and humiliated by his younger ex-girlfriend, she left him in shambles, but then Harrison purchased a maid android named Mako, who serves his every desire. 
So this android is programmed and designed to be a woman in every aspect. But it appears that Harrison didn't understand that being possessive, exclusive, and emotional was part of Mako's design. Now, I understand that Mako is dealing with some past traumas and abuses, but Harrison is seemingly moving on with his life with Mako, but then decides to reconnect with his ex. Now, true, she is stunningly beautiful, but dude, she left you, ridiculed you, and Mako all but built you up. Now, you're sneaking around behind Mako's back and trying to rekindle things with your ex? My friend, if you only knew what Mako was capable of, you wouldn't be doing this. And the consequences of playing Mako are deadly. And reason number three, a compelling horror movie without blood. Now, this movie is akin to movies like The Texas Chainsaw Massacre and 2007's Trick or Treat. Yes, they have unique abilities of telling a compelling horror story without the use of crazy amounts of blood. In 2023's Made Droid, this movie is able to tell a deep and compelling story without any blood. Now, aside from a few cuts with a box cutter, this movie is practically bloodless. And the creeps, the scares, and the tension is all done via direction and action of the movie. I mean, this movie, based on the looks of it, gives off a cheap vibe. It doesn't look like you're about to watch something good. It does itself no favors in that department. But once you start watching it, it hooks you because the acting in this movie is very believable. And the filmmakers didn't have a ton of money to spend, but they made the sound choices captivate their audiences. And that I give them props for. And reason number four, a compelling android without the use of CGI. Now, this movie was able to accurately present Faith West as a convincing android. Because at the end of the day, no matter how human she looked or acted, she was a device created to look perfect. And the actress Faith West knocks this performance out of the park. And unlike your typical horror movie, to sell this story, you had to have certain tics that are robotic and out of place. And there's a level of fish out of water that Faith West just really kills. And in this movie, there's no CGI used to sell that Faith is an android. It's just her doing her thing and there are times where she runs out of battery power and needs to be recharging she does that pretty well and there are times where harrison uses a remote to power her down she's always on cue and there's a lot of timing that this movie required between faith and the guy that played harrison and to pull that off they both done well and i mentioned the fish out of water concept because faith is perfect at this she's innocent in moments where it's not required and clueless at moments where you just don't expect her to be and that was pretty good I liken her performance to Gal Gadot's first Wonder Woman performance. It took a level of innocence and naivety to pull off. And like Gadot, who uses that cute as a button framing, Faith West is literal perfection in this. And it's to the point to where you think a product like her truly exists. And reason number five, attention to detail with women, that is. The one thing about 2023's Maid Droid is that they sold us paradise. From a man's perspective, to hear that he's getting an android that is fully functional as a natural born woman, you're thinking, wait, a robot that can cook, clean, do chores and have sex sounds like paradise. I mean, this movie goes further and gives her every single trait of a woman, including the ability to feel pain physically and emotionally, the ability to feel used and abused, the ability to be affected by past traumas and relationship. And that attention to detail is what make this movie work because Faith West carries this entire thing on her shoulders. You really believe that she's suffering during this movie and not sure if Faith has any experience or any of this stuff to happen to her personally, but her ability to translate those emotions on screen is nothing short of genius. And for that, I highly recommend this movie. And until next time, when said talks horror.